Non-district play around the state of Texas starting up this weekend for most teams. One more good non-district interclassification, interregional matchup as Sonora making the road trip down I-10 to take on Bernie. It's Class 3A against Class 4A. The Broncos travel in with a record of 2-2 two two on the season. Bernie with a record of 3-0. and Well, technically 3-0-1. Their last game here at Bernie ISD Stadium was lost because the lights went out. Last year, Bernie won the matchup in Sonora, led by quarterback Quentin Dormady. Dormady is now at the University of Tennessee. Sonora, in fact, after that loss, would go on and win nine straight games and go all the way to state semifinals. So how would the rematch play out tonight here in Kendall County? Well, let's head down to the field, hope the lights would stay on, and check out the highlights here on TexasHSFootball.com. Brooks Klutz, starting in relief of Bernie's injured quarterback, played lights out as the lights stayed on. He threw five touchdown passes and ran for two more as the Greyhounds beat Sonora 55-38. Coach just always preaches next man up, and uh, we really take that mentality seriously. And uh, I had to step up big tonight because we know Sonora's a, a great team, and uh, we played our heart out. We had a miscommunication there on that that pick six, so it was good to get back and get a score. We had called a, a shallow route and uh, the linebackers blitzed and uh, we had that guy wide open, so our, our receivers just go out and they work hard every, every snap. Despite having much less depth than Bernie, David Sines' run game showed once again why Sonora is a threat to win another Class 3A Division II state championship. I have never been more proud of a group of kids in 23 years 
Uh, we, we suited up, we played 27, and they suited up 57, and we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Tradition never graduates, and when you look at it from the old school, it's like a 2A play in a 5A with 1,100 kids here, and we've got less than 300. But that's the heart of a Bronco that we talked about before. I'm extremely proud of Bronco Nation and all the fans that traveled on a Thursday night, so it's a lot of fun. Reporting from Kendall County, I'm Greg Sherman for TexasHSFootball.com.